Banjo Ben, here again. Ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da. Whoa, that was worth twice as much. How are y'all doing, son? We've got a hot lesson for you today. You guitar pickers out there are gonna love this. Have you ever learned old Joe Clark? Well, if you have, you might want to throw away your old version because I've got a new one for you. This is hot. It's hot off the presses. I just wrote it this week. I've been playing the song for a long time, but realized I never really sat down and wrote an advanced version to this. So um, lick your chops and uh, see what you think about this one. First, I'm going to break the song down piece by piece. And in doing that, we're going to hit a couple different lessons. One of those being speed. Lots of people ask me about speed. This is an incredible speed building song, but you need to make sure that your right hand is playing it correctly. And that's something we're going to get into. Also, your, some, a lot of your left hand ornaments are really present in this song. Your slides are very present, pull offs. We need to make sure and get those things right uh, so that you can sound like a pro. And so as we learn this song, we're going to be getting into all of that. Then at the end of this video lesson series, I'm going to play three different speeds of backup guitar so that you uh, gold pick members at BanjoBenClark.com can have those to practice along with. You can have somebody real to play with, which is really cool. Today we're playing the song in G. It's normally played in A, but I know a lot of you out there don't have capos, okay? So we need to get you one, but um, you can get one of those nice Elliott capos that I've got. Check them out. They're the best. Phil Elliott down in Texas hand makes those. But I played it in G so that you can play along if you don't have a capo. When you go to jams, you're probably going to play this in A. It's a fiddle tune. Um, it's in A. And you put the fingers down the same place as you just have a capo up, two frets. Good to go. Let's dive into this one. First thing we're going to need to do is get you some tab so that you can read along with me. I'm going to be referring to, uh, to this song um, by the measure number. So if you have the tab, it makes it a lot easier to follow along. If you're watching this on my website, banjobenclark.com, then you'll need to go over to the guitar tab section and uh, print off that PDF there, have it there laying beside you, and uh, you should be good to go. Also, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, very shortly you're going to be directed to uh, go to my website to finish watching the lesson for this video. I invite you to come on by and join as a Gold Pick member. It helps, uh, it's not very much money at all, and it, it helps support uh, these videos that keep coming out. And uh, so I would love your support over there. There's many of you that have already supported me there, and I just want to say a very special thank you um, to you. And now as we, uh, as we start off this song, it's going to start off with a very just uh, basic kickoff um, in, there in measure two. Actually, the first measure in the tab I used um, to, to help you get on time. If you're using the tablet edit files, uh, it kind of gives you a little intro. And what is what it gives you, just kind of a little count off. Okay, so that's, that's to help you on the tablet edit side of things. If you print out the PDF, then just ignore uh, that, that first measure. Um, but there in measure two, we have this kick off three quarter notes on the B string. Those are all down strokes. They get one beat a piece. And then in measure three, we're going to get into kind of the, the feel of this song. And, and essentially, you know, the original most basic melody of this song is very simple. It sounds something like this. So we've taken the liberty to add a lot of notes in between there. And the way that I've done it um, is called chromatic. It's chromatic improvisation, okay? So what chromatic means is we get a lot of things accomplished by just playing um, a half step apart, okay? So instead of running our whole steps, which would be in the scale, we're gonna instead run up the scale chromatically using every fret. Okay, that's kind of how we're getting around. That's the MO of, of this song, and that starts out there in measure three. And we're doing the strict down, up, down, up picking pattern. If it's on a down beat, it's down stroke, up beat, up stroke. So I'm gonna play measure three for you and measure four for you, very slow down. Here we go. One, two, and three, and four, 
and Pretty straightforward there. We've got um, a lot of picking in a row, and that's why I was talking about building speed with this song. This is really going to be a right hand workout, and we see that there in measure three. They're all picked. There's not any hammer ons or slides or anything. Okay, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And what we need to make sure there is that it's our wrist that's moving, okay? Not our arm. We don't want this kind of jazz going on. We want this kind of jazz going on, and maybe a little bit of thumb like Sir Tony uses, okay? Um, but we want, we want to have more of this plane going on, not this kind of disjointed uh, action, because what that's going to do is start building tension up here in your shoulder, and you're going to feel your bicep flexed, and that's, a, that's an enemy of speed, okay? And we'll get into more of that uh, later in, in detail, but I just wanted to touch on that right quick. Measure three. Now when we get to uh, measure four, we're going to use our ring finger to slide from that third to fifth fret, Okay, that's going to put us in what I like to call our, really our second position. Uh, some, may, some people may call it a third position because we're on the third fret there. I think this kind of home, first position, second position, and I think about it like that. So that automatically puts us up there um, in this kind of range, whereas a, a lot of the song happens. Okay, slide, down, up, hammer on, and then a, a downstroke on the last, and, and that's a pretty cool little move. You can use that lick anywhere. 